What's up, Capricorn? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with your last week of November Terrascope reading, and I do have your pre-shuffle, meditated shuffle, pre-meditated shuffle out here on the table as we speak, and everything is screaming, no. I don't know who the hell this magician in reverse is. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, but this trickster definitely had you fooled, okay? Now, you in the energy where you like, oh no, whatever this person did, they led you on. You guys started a new passionate beginning and you really invested in the situation. But I don't know if this person was moving too slow or not at all. They were being a knight when you needed them to be in king energy, okay? Okay. So that's what I'm seeing right now. I feel like this person put in a lot of effort to get you. And once they got you, they stopped putting that effort in. That's exactly what I see here. Okay. So now you in a position where you cut this person off. You have them currently blocked at this time. And you decided, you know what? I'm not putting any action into this either. You ain't going to put no effort. Why should I? Because this did not turn out the way you thought it was. You thought that you guys were in the process of coming together and actually building, moving forward, you know, headed to to that long-term energy. Instead, this person just disappointed you, let you down, and you're tired of waiting because we all know that that night of Pinnacles energy is a very slow moving, very slow, at a snail's pace. Meanwhile, you know, here this person got you all psyched up and excited when they was courting you like, oh my God, you know, like, like they just in for it. And then they get there and it's like, all of a sudden they slow things down a hundred percent with the chariot in reverse. So it's looking like you guys are no longer moving forward with each other. If you guys were supposed to travel towards each other because you guys were at a distance, it's looking like you no longer waiting for that. You know, this person left you feeling left out in the cold. You know, who knows? You could be even displaced, you know, uh, residential-wise because of this person. You could have actually lost your place to stay because of this person. And this person has you in straight-up despair with the Queen of Cups in, in reverse. That's like situational depression for me. If I see the star in reverse anywhere in this spread, then that's, that's depression for real. You know? So that's what I'm seeing for your pre-shuffle energy. Now, let's get into the main spread for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last week of November. Spirit. What messages do Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to hear for the last week of November? Y'all, Thanksgiving right around the corner, Capricorn. And I know y'all the event throwers, boy. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the last week of November. Go, we man already I'm seeing signs of similarities of uh woo yeah somebody is in need of healing you just plain restless when it comes down to the situation with this person you tired of waiting you tired of waiting for them to get their act together Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising for the last week of November spirit messages for Capricorn oh yes once again I really hope you didn't get evicted because of this person either that or your financial status changed because you're not dealing with this person anymore you know you could have been a stay-at-home 
mom and now you have a hard time finding a job and it's just you and your baby now and y'all you just feeling like you can't even provide like you don't even have enough to provide okay more messages for capricorn sun moon and rising for the last week in november that was so many lord I don't know if this is a third party situation, but we'll find out. This could be a fact that one of you guys wants a reconciliation. And here goes that magician again. And it actually fell out sideways. So be careful that they don't come back acting as though they changed what they really didn't. Be careful of that. Whoa! Oh my gosh, there's love here. Okay, so that three of cups could definitely be reconciliation. But watch out that this person doesn't still have tricks up their sleeves. And here they are, showing up as the king that you wanted them to show up as. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Death, transformation. Still in Scorpio season, so this might happen. It's really soon, guys. Okay. So let's see why the Four of Swords is here for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last week of November. Woo! The camera turned off just in time for that poor excuse for a damn shuffle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spirit tried to save me, guys. Girl, that was whack. I turned the camera off and you still turn the camera on and told on yourself. Oh, well, y'all know. Y'all know me. I'm transparent with y'all. If I F up, I'll tell y'all in a heartbeat because I am not exempt. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's see. Why is this for a source here for Capricorn? Sun, moon, and rising. Boom, great fortune in reverse. Yes, you do not feel fortunate at this time. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it was meant for this to be an upright. You feel like somebody came in between and destroyed your stuff. So if there was any third energies, it could have been, you know, people that actually meant to cause destruction. It could have been a social circle or just, you know, girls that already know that this person is in a relationship with you, kind of trying to come between y'all, hoping to break y'all up, or this could have been happening on your end. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Thief, oh my gosh. What the hell happened? Uh, I gotta get some more cards for this. But some feeling of having things taken from you Maybe this person didn't evenly distribute the um, assets when things ended. Why is the Three of Cups here, Spirit? Yeah, a third party situation came in between our third energy. The Magician in Reverse, Spirit. Why is the Magician in Reverse here? Why is the magician in reverse here, spirit? Why is the magician in reverse here, spirit? There we go. Wow. Somebody going to try to manipulate a new beginning. Let's see. One more for the magician in reverse and a child. Why is this here, spirit? Oh. Uh, well, this isn't an upright. Okay, so you're going to be coming out of that poverty state very soon with the healthy new beginning. And this person really is going to change. Even if they do have to manipulate their way in, they thought about the situation. And that's why this Ace of Cups is coming up. You could just be viewing this person as a trickster still. But I do feel like they're coming back more honest and more mature with the King of Pentacles. 
Remember, that was Knight of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle. Why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit? For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wow, okay, you free to love this person, I feel. Yes, I do feel that before they couldn't offer you love because of, of whatever other energies was involved, but now, you know, it's time for you to come out of this energy of despair because this person really is back to love you. You know, maybe it was requited in the past, but with time apart, oh yeah, because this cycle was here. So with cutting them off, you know, I think their mother could have convinced you, convinced them like you don't need this. This person going to work hard for this connection. I got the toil and labor here. This person is going to work hard for you, especially if you are the main woman. And they didn't see that before, but they see that now. And that's the reason why things are transforming between you guys. So, all right. Let me get some oracle advice for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. For the last week of November, spirit. Get some oracle advice for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising. Cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. That's what needed to happen. This person needed to see what it was like to be without you so that they could clean up their act. Wow. You know what? A part of me feels like now the tables have turned because you don't feel blessed by the situation. And these same two cards came out for Virgo. So, so, um, you could have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo, especially with the King of Pentacles coming out for you guys. But you don't believe it, so you don't believe that it's going to happen. Maybe it would, <clears throat> too much damage was caused. I do feel. Well, you stand your ground. I can't complain about that. And if you just feel like, mm, nah, I, I did my share of waiting and I'm tired of waiting as it showed in the pre-shuffle, then the person can't blame you. All right, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell. Comment down below. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.